In the last video, we set up our Beacon Host object, and in this one, we want to set up our Beacon Client. So we can go ahead and open up our Beacon Client class that we made called Nazi Zombie Beacon Client and take a look at the documentation. So inside of a online beacon client, scroll down and look at a couple of things. So first off, if we look in the variables, we'll see one called beacon owner. Now if we look at what beacon owner is, it's a online beacon host object. And you can see it's indicated as server only. So a way we can use this in the future is since the server holds this only, this can be a null pointer on the client version. So, but the server holds a copy or yeah, kind of like a copy of all of the clients that are connected to it. So all the beacon clients, remember it has that array in it. So what we can do via the beacon owner variable, we can simply store data that we want for the lobby inside of our beacon host class. So that'll hold like, you know, lobby info like the map that selected, the player name, like the player array that's in there and all that kind of stuff. And inside of the beacon client, we can simply, on the server, we can get access to beacon owner. We can cast that to our custom beacon host object class and simply get that data via getter function and RPC it down to the clients so the client has the updated information. That's probably, that might be the route we end up going. So whenever the server info changes, like the map changes or something like that, all that, the changed information will trickle down to the clients. Go down here to the functions. You can look at init client and pretty much this is what's going to read from the description. Initialize the beacon and try to connect to the destination. So it's going to try to connect to our host. And the URL takes an F URL. We'll open that up for later. Scroll down again. Uh, we see on failure. We will want to override this just simply to let us know if you know we failed to connect. For example, but for now we want to focus on init client. So let's go ahead and create that. So if we scroll down to our F URL for the parameter, go to the constructor, look at the third one. Uh, we can ignore the first parameter. We'll just pass in a null pointer. It takes in the URL. So the URL is going to be the address that we are connecting to. Then the travel type, we're just going to travel as absolute. That's kind of like a server travel, for example. So let's begin. In our Nazi Zombie Beacon client, let's create a new protected section. It's going to be called from Blueprint. So we're going to do a U function, Blueprint callable. We're going to do bool because that client returns a boolean. Let's call this one connect to server. Then we want to make it take in a parameter, which is the but we need to take in a URL, which we need to construct. So we're going to need to actually kind of construct it in some way. So we're going to do a const f string address. We're just going to call it address, or we can actually even call it destination, whichever one is going to make more sense. Yeah, we have to look over here. Now that we created the definition for connect to server, we're going to construct that f URL. We're going to do f url. I'm going to call this one destination equals f url. Then once IntelliSense picks back up, we look down to the last one. Here we have the constructor that we want. So we have the base url and a type. So we don't need to worry about the base. So we're just going to do a null pointer. The url is going to be our address. And the travel type for the enum is e. It's going to be travel absolute. Uh, it's actually pointer because it's a reference. So we're going to do destination dot 
port equals now if you recall from the port we look at our config again for default engine what we set for our online beacon is 7787 so we're just going to set that there by default this can obviously be changed and set up you know and however or we can read actually directly from this itself but we're not going to currently and then we want to call init host so we're going to do return init host all right what's it called init client that's why init client and takes in the url so destination like so i want to close down the editor and compile it's done compiling I'm going to relaunch and the only other things we want to do are override or i'm actually not going to relaunch just yet we're going to override on failure and now that i look at it again i want to override on connected so i want on connected to print out a message stating that we have made a connection and on failure to print out if we have failed so we'll go back here let's do virtual void on failure override virtual void on connected override on connected or on connect yeah on connected and create the definitions for both of these functions <sighs> there we go okay. i'm actually going to move these to the top right below our constructor like so and just let's do he's gonna call super here let's just get a log so ue log log attempt warning let's print out client failed to connect to host beacon and client connected to host beacon for on connected so that way we know it's successful all right now that we have this just very basic setup in place what should happen when we call connect to server assuming a client beacon has been created and that client gets called and tries to make the connection then let's assume it's successful and on client connected is going to be fired and we should have client connect should or connected client valid printed on the server and on the client we should have client connected to host beacon on the client so with any luck that will work as intended but we need a way to actually set this up and use it so we will be doing that in the next one so i'll see you then